and welcome to another Sutton Group Realty Services webinar. Social media is a valuable marketing tool that everyone should use, but it can be very time consuming to create content. This month, we're going to show you how to create a Facebook business page and link it to Sutton Social. If you haven't heard of it before, Sutton Social is a free service that Sutton provides all of its agents. We will post content to your Facebook and Twitter accounts for you every two to three days. I will also go over some ideas for creating your own content if you want to add to your page. Why is social media so important? In this digital world, social media is your face and resume. We're living in the days where if it's not online, it doesn't exist. Having a loud online presence is key to increasing web traffic and obtaining more leads. Social media is the phone book of the future. Social media will increase brand awareness amongst your audience. Having an active social media platform and interacting with your community will keep you on the top of their minds. Share posts that reflect your brand's core values and beliefs to resonate with your audience. Brand awareness will increase your word of mouth leads. It brings some life and personality to your brand. Relationships and real connections are vital for your real estate business. People want to work with people they like, and social media is the quickest and most effective way to connect with your audience. Social media is a fabulous tool to position yourself as an industry leader. What does that mean? Well, it means that your followers will come to you first if they have any questions or need anything regarding the real estate industry. All of that is great, but it can be very time consuming to use social media properly. That's where Sutton Social comes in. We take care of the posts so you can use your social media time to interact with your audience through responding to comments and messages. Sutton Social is absolutely free for all Sutton agents. It's easy to use, and we have a social media guru generating the posts for you. Our new social media professional, Megan, some of you may have met her through email recently, is working hard at creating posts that will get your followers talking. Later in this webinar, I'll walk you through just how easy it is to use. Before I show you how to sign up for Sutton Social, we need to make sure that everyone has a Facebook business page. Facebook has more than 2 billion active users per day. To reach the audience in your area, it's important you have a business page and it's set up properly. Facebook has one of the most diverse demographics compared to other social platforms. You can see that it captures the eyes of both men and women within a huge age range. Sutton Social will not connect to your personal Facebook page, so it's important that you are set up properly. Now I'm going to show you how to create a business page and get everything all organized so you can sign up for Sutton Social. The first thing you're going to need to do is sign into your Facebook account. I've created a fake account here so I can show you how to uh, create a business page. The first thing you're going to need to do once you're in here is double check to see if you have a business page or not. If you're not sure, you can click this little arrow right here and you can see that if you have a business page, it will show up in here. Because I don't have any pages, I don't have that option here. So if all you see is what uh, you see on my account here, that means you don't have a business page. To create a page, it's very simple. All you do is press Create Page. Now you're going to select which one you are. Um, for real estate, you're going to use business or brand. So you can click uh, Get Started. And then what you're going to do is just fill in all the information. So type in what your name is. I'm not going to use a real name or anything. Um, and then the category you're in um, is real estate agent, or you can put something similar to that. Um, your address. So you can use uh, your broker address. Um, it's probably the best one and not your personal address. Um, so I'm just going to put in... Um, some fake information here. Okay. And then um, you can put in your phone number too. Um, this one can be your business phone number or you can use your mobile number, uh, whatever you use for any of your business pages. That's what you're going to want to use here. And you can also click don't show my address uh, if you don't want to have the physical address of your brokerage showing up on your page. And then you can just click continue. All right, so now that we've done that, 
Uh, we're gonna add a profile picture. I'm not actually gonna upload a profile picture just because I don't have any photos on this computer. Um, but to upload the picture, you're just gonna press upload picture and I would recommend choosing a photo that you have on your other marketing materials. So if you have headshots on um, anything online or if you have uh, ads out there, you're gonna wanna use the same picture just to keep everything consistent. So I'm gonna press skip here, but you should go ahead and put your profile picture in. The next thing you're gonna to need to do is add a cover photo. Um, for this, you can use anything that matches any of your branding. Again, if you have kind of a banner on your website or something like that, you might wanna use that. Um, we do have a couple cover photo options in uh, the Brand and Resource Center or you can make one yourself, completely up to you. Uh, but again, use the same kind of look and feel as the rest of your marketing materials. Uh, this way everybody will know it's you and there'll be no mistaking. So I'm just gonna press skip here again, but you should really upload a cover photo. Now our Facebook page is created. So now that you've done that, you're going to want to go through and do a couple things. Um, I would suggest, I'm not going to go through everything on here, so I would suggest if you don't have a business page set up yet and you want to do a really good job, you can press see all page tips here. And this is basically Facebook is going to go through and tell you everything you should do to have a really good business page. So you're going to create a username, you're going to... Um, have a call to action, so that's this little button thing right here. Um, you can create a button, uh, you're gonna add your phone number because people are gonna need to reach you. Um, you're not gonna necessarily need to let people know when you're open uh, unless you do have strict business hours you work by and you don't want people contacting you outside them. Uh, so that is some good tips for setting up your page. You're also going to want to write in here just a short description, your bio, just a little bit of information to let people get to know you. Um, and that is basically the basics of a business page. Once you're all set up with your business page, you can connect it to Sutton Social. To do that, we're going to go to www.homebase.com. So just log in with your email and password. personal computer. Okay, and then once you're in, you're just going to go up to the top to apps and tools and find the social media um, tile right here. So this gives you a little bit of information about Sutton Social and we use Back at You Media to do this. So you're going to click launch app and then connect, uh, connect with Facebook. And then we need to choose the page that we want to connect. So uh, Test Realtor is the one that I just made. If you have multiple business pages, um, they're gonna show up all here. So there might be like five or six, however many you have. Um, so just make sure you choose the right one. Otherwise, we're gonna be posting on the wrong account. And then you can click Continue. So you've connected your account. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that your profile is all ready and everything's filled out so that you can use this platform to its best advantage. So you can click let's review my profile and we're just gonna go through and make sure that all the information is correct. So um, this is just the account I'm currently on on home base. So maybe you wanna, maybe your name on home base isn't your preferred name or the name on your marketing. So you can definitely change that. Um, if it is how you want it to show, then you can just hit save and continue. Uh, next thing is your profile picture. So you can put any of your headshots in here, whichever one you'd like. I would suggest using the same one that's already on your Facebook account, but if you have a different one you wanna use, that's fine too. Um, and then our colors are already preloaded in here, so you don't have to worry about that. And our logo is also preloaded in here. The next thing is where your leads are going. So if somebody is 
requesting information on something that you have posted, um, this is where it's going to go. So for me, this is just the account that I'm logged in under at the moment. Um, but if you have a different email address that you would like to use, um, then you can update it in here and then hit save. Um, the next is where would you like text messages if you want text messages about leads. And so this is, uh, our phone number here. Um, so if you do want text messages, just click yes. If you don't, then you can click no and then hit save. Um, next is your personal website. So you're going to want to put in all the information that you have here. So if you have a personal website, um, you can throw it in there and then hit save. And then the next is your agent license number. So that's very important. Uh, put that in there. You can have a little uh, email signature here as well, which you're welcome to change and play around with. And then you can just hit save again. Um, the next one is your MLS ID. Now you need this to be able to link your listings into back at you so you can easily and flawlessly post about your listings. So put your ID in there. Um, if you don't have any listings to sync, you can click that and then you just hit save and continue. Um, I don't obviously have an MLS number, so I can't add that in. Um, let's just double, let me do it like this. There we go. All right, and that is everything here. So then you can press continue and we'll show you a little bit about what um, back at you ends up looking like. So you can see here my Facebook is connected. I can connect my LinkedIn and my Twitter as well just by clicking on here. So if you want us to post on more than just your Facebook, definitely connect them there. And now you're done. And you can see here now that it's brought us to um, a dashboard. This has our analytics on it here. So this way you can monitor your social media and see exactly what's going on and how well you're doing. We have impressions here, so this is how many times your posts have been seen. And then we have reach, so this is how many people are actually seeing your posts. With impressions, one person can look at your posts two or three times. Maybe they're interested in the content, uh, they wanted to read up a little bit more on what you're saying, but reach shows you just how many people saw it, not how many times they saw it. Um, and then engagement is how many people are engaging with you. So are they liking your posts, commenting, sharing your posts, clicking on links, um, enlarging photos, anything that shows that somebody was interested in your content is going to go here. And then time saved is how much time we've saved you by having you signed up at Back at You. Um, if you ever need any help with anything, you can always ask us at Sutton Support, or you can also talk to a media coach here. So they're going to be able to help you with everything to do with this platform. They're very knowledgeable and very helpful people, so don't hesitate to press that and get any assistance that you need. To see what's going to post, you can go to Scheduled Content. Uh, Megan is going to schedule your content, so you have two to three posts a week. She usually schedules it the morning of, um, so you can always check here. If there's something you don't want to go out because you're not interested in having it, you can cancel it. Um, if not, uh, then you just leave it there and it's going to post for you. Uh, you can also create your own post. So if you want to add a little bit of your own personality in, you can click Create Post. Um, and then you can create a post here. You can add an image and write a little caption. You can add a link. Um, and then you can schedule that for a later time. Now that I've shown you how easy it is to sign up for a Facebook business page and connect it to Sutton Social, I'll give you a little bit of information on exactly what you get when you sign up. We post on your behalf every two to three days, which is the perfect amount to stay relevant in your community. All of our posts are scheduled to be applicable across Canada. We create content that the majority of Canadians will find appealing and engaging. Here are a couple of examples of posts that we've scheduled in the past. They usually showcase rooms or DIY reno tips for your followers. If you want to schedule other posts to show off your personality and bring your brand to life, I will give you a few examples of posts you can use that are very effective. The first is listing posts. You don't want to spam everyone's news feed with these, but they can be extremely useful. Choose a day of the week or the month to showcase your most attractive listings. 
Showcase your neighborhood. If you live in the same area that you work, this should be so easy. Show off your favorite places to make people want to live in your area. With these posts, you're supporting local businesses and you're also selling the lifestyle in your neighborhood. Show off your personality. This is very important on social media. People want to work with people they relate to. Show your prospective clients everything they could have in common with you. Don't go too overboard on personal photos though. It's a good idea to ask yourself, would I want my grandma to see this before adding it to your business page? Position yourself as an industry expert by sharing news and events that are relevant to your industry. People want a realtor who is dialed into the industry to represent them in what can be a stressful and exciting time of their lives. Share your favorite tips and tricks. The list of options for posts like these is infinite. You can share decorating and storage ideas, tips for increasing your home's market value, or tips for first-time buyers and sellers. These kinds of posts are meant to be fun, so get creative and post about things that you want to write about. Today we've covered how to create a Facebook business page and link it to the free Sutton social app in Homebase. We've also touched on additional content you can add to your social media pages. Thank you for watching another Sutton Group Realty Services webinar. Keep an eye out for the follow-up email that includes all the services used in this webinar and a link to a feedback survey. We, we hope to see you all next month for another webinar. Thanks again!